Honorable Senators, I rise today during Asian Heritage Month to speak to you from Mi'kma'ki, Nova Scotia, home for a half century to my dear friend, gentle guide, and professional mentor, the late Eric Ahmet. Eric Ahmet was my predecessor as director of the Cody International Institute at St. Francis Xavier University. He was an intelligent, well-educated man with credentials from the University of Ceylon, Carleton, and Oxford University Fellowship, and an honorary doctorate from St. of X. In 1971, the year before Ceylon became a republic and changed its name to Sri Lanka, Eric Amat's arrival at the Cody Institute signaled an important shift within the Institute as it recognized and embraced experiences from the global south. Born in 1929 in a highly stratified social order in colonial Colombo into an interracial, intercultural, and interreligious family with an English mother and a Malaysian father who died soon after his birth, Eric understood adversity from a young age. Fortunately, his keen intelligence was recognized and higher education and his marriage to his university sweetheart, Amy, became his tickets to a better life and a senior career in the Selenese civil service. Eric served as district commissioner, assistant secretary in the ministries of housing, fisheries and trade and commerce and as land commissioner. Eric Amet directed the World Council of Churches Relief and Rehabilitation Program in post-war Bangladesh. This vast work experience complementing his academic credentials and his core integrity is what prepared Eric so well for his leadership role at Cody. Working in the area of participatory rural planning and develop, Eric inspired and influenced many of the more than 9,000 Cody graduates coming from civil society organizations, cooperatives, and all levels of government in 130 countries around the world. He was recognized by the UN Association as a global citizen in 1995. He was a brilliant professional, but he was much more than a capable administrator and teacher. Eric Amet was a man with a mission. The central uh, question driving he Eric's work was, what will it mean for the poor? Dr. Amet had great respect for his students and their experiences. Cody graduate Dr. Kirti Bolineni of India said, he walked with us. Eric and his late wife, Amy, created a beautiful family. Children, Manoli, Hilary, Udani, and the late Aromi. Grandchildren, Alistair, Claire, David, Julia, Daniel, Renee, and Dominique, and great-grandchildren, Alec and Eva. Honorable Senators, Eric Amet left an enduring mark on his family, on our community, and on our world. May he rest in peace.